Hello, I'm Dave Caldwell with your SUV news break for Wednesday, March 25th. California Highway Patrol officers are investigating a fatal crash on Soledad Canyon Road in Canyon Country. The head on collision occurred around 845 this morning involving a blue Honda Element and a Metrolink truck. The Honda was heading southbound and veered into the northbound lane near Rivers and Resort. It collided with the truck, leaving an Hispanic man in his 30s and a white female in her 20s critically injured. The man was pronounced dead at the scene, and the woman was transported to a local hospital where she reportedly died from her injuries. There were five people in the Metrolink truck, and none appeared to be seriously injured. Next of kin have not been notified. Santa Clarita Valley deputies arrested the owner of Tandoori Grill in Valencia on Monday for holding another man against his will and forcing him to work. 47-year-old Pardeep Kumar of Newhall was arrested for mayhem, assault with a deadly weapon, involuntary servitude, and human trafficking. He is currently being held at the Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff's Station in lieu of $100,000 bail. Deputies located an employee at the business who said he had been forced by Kumar to work as a cook without pay for approximately three years. The victim allegedly worked 12 to 14 hours per day, seven days a week, and also reportedly was physically assaulted by Kumar whenever he made any mistakes at work. Deputies were also told that the victim was forced to live at the Kumar's house and was driven to and from work. Red light cameras will soon be a thing of the past, at least in Santa Clarita. City Council members Steve voted to remove the seven red light there. cameras that operate within city limits at their meeting Tuesday night. This no, year, just changed. operating so the camera, cameras was likely to cost local and taxpayers more than $200,000. Longer yellow lights and less compliance to pay for red light tickets okay, are just some of the factors of why the cameras are generating less revenue for the city. But the results are mixed. City traffic engineer Andrew Yee says total collisions have been reduced in the city by 21 percent. And of that, broadside collisions have gone down by 59 percent. City officials are penning a letter to Redflex, which operates the traffic safety cameras, to notify them of the council's decision to drop the service. City spokeswoman Gail Morgan says the actual cameras will be removed sometime after March 31st. After years of planning and construction, College of the Canyons held the grand opening of the new Canyons Hall on Wednesday. The new 46,000 square foot center for student services and community engagement will include admissions and records, financial aid, the career center, plus many other administrative offices. Our goal at College of the Canyons has been to continue to focus on access, continue to expand how we do what we do, and to make it uh, make access um, a truly an open door. That process starts long before they get in the classrooms of our great faculty. It starts in student services. It starts when they walk in this building. And I know that our folks have always done a fabulous job before they got here, so I am really excited about what's going to happen inside of these walls. The entire project cost $17.8 million and was mostly funded by Measure M a bond measure passed by Santa Clarita voters in 2006. Former Green Bay Packers wide receiver Calvin Perkins spoke to students at Golden Valley High School Wednesday about his own personal struggles with drugs and alcohol. The event is just one of the school's activities happening across the Hart District during X Week. Defiant clubs at junior high and high schools all over the valley are Xing out drugs and alcohol and are encouraging their peers to do the same. Perkins says the opportunity to speak to kids about some of the choices he made in his past is a blessing for him as much as it is for the students. I need to be reminded of where I came from. I need to not forget that the hurt and the shame and the pain and guilt and stuff that I felt as a result of the decisions that I made. Uh, I just really enjoy encouraging them to not make the same mistakes or decisions that I made. Because as I mentioned inside, I've gone and I've done the research and the coast is not clear. So that is the biggest part for me is to give back what I've been given. And that is uh, to, to have been saved and to have had grace and mercy in order to come and save somebody else's life.
But somebody who's personally endured and gone through uh, some of the hardships in, in life, dealing with the topics that kids are about to face in some circles, it's just a wonderful opportunity for kids to see and, and maybe experience the, the crossroads right before them. Um, and, and these kids are right upon those crossroads right now, so I think it's really important. Defy It is a free school-based voluntary anti-drug club run by kids for kids at local junior high and high schools. For more information about the Defy It program, visit Defy It scv.com. Santa Clarita was breezy but hot with highs in the mid 80s. Overnight lows are expected to drop into the mid 50s. The rest of the week will be in the low 90s. Weekend temperatures will reach the upper 80s and low 90s. That's all for your SCV News Break. For more local news, you can log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Dave Caldwell.